Good afternoon everyone. Uh, we are here for another installment. We're gonna make a second survival slash bushcraft shelter. Uh, we're gonna dig a ditch out that we're standing in around the edges. Um, we're gonna put a wall in the front and the back uh, and we're actually gonna build a fireplace inside of it uh, so that we can cook on it and keep warm when it's cold. Uh, so follow along uh, for our journey. Bye. Bye. Give you a little tour before we start so as you can see it's a pretty small ditch uh, not real deep it's probably about four feet deep and what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear out the sides here and make them straight up and down and then that way we'll have room for the boys and i to sleep right here so this is before just wanted to see you a little bit before I need Been digging for probably about an hour and a half, two hours, and got one side of it done. It's pretty level, looks pretty good. Build up this back wall a good bit, hopefully to keep the water coming if it does run down. Good morning, everyone. This is day two. We are back at it, uh, working on our shelter. Uh, so our goal today is to get at least get the fireplace dug and a shelf for inside to have put stuff on and then hopefully start building some of the wooden structure. Um, and I've got my, my one of my best helpers, Vinny, out here with me today. And my other best helper, Liam, out here today, who is actually falling down as we speak, but he is uh, pushing down the dirt so that we can build a little bit of a wall right there. So I got the fireplace all dug out. Uh, now I just have to go up here on top and dig a hole goes down to it for my chimney. We got the hole finally knocked out right here so we can have a good chimney for the fireplace I just clean it out a little bit and this part of the build will be done if you're wondering what kind of shovel this is that I'm using to do most of this with uh, it's by a company called Demos uh, it's a shovel made for overlanding camping pretty much anything you want to use it for you can use it around the house if you want to uh, folds up here you can actually fold it in half and use it like a pick's axe um, then it also gets smaller say if you somebody that's shorter you can do it here make a shorter shovel as well so it's a pretty unique shovel works well they have an aluminum version and a steel version 
I had the steel version just because I wanted something a little more hefty. It does weigh a little more than the aluminum version, but uh, it's a really great shovel. Uh, so if you want some more information on it, look down below in the description. I've got a link for it down there. Laying the tarp on top, got the outside done. So this is where the fireplace will come up. This is the view from ground level and set up above. And this is the inside view. A little dark and hard to see, but once we get that fire going in there, it won't be so bad. Got our survival shelter pretty much finished up. Just gonna give you a real quick tour of this grand structure we have built. First, as you walk in on the right side here, got a little shelf, got a lantern set up on there now for light. Not doing much during the day, but at nighttime, it'll be great to have that whole area. And then have a sleeping area about, you know, probably about six feet by 10 feet. And then we have the fireplace and it, produces a pretty good amount of heat so hopefully we'll be able to stay warm in here if it gets really cold thank y'all for joining us uh, building this survival shelter uh, this first video is just going to be of us building it uh, the next video we do will be uh, sleeping in it and cooking a meal in it uh, we appreciate y'all and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like subscribe and like every single day